Hi everybody, this is Cop Kitty, and it's been a while, it's been like a month since my last video and I would like to thank everybody who missed me and sent me messages and left me comments on my channels and my videos. I missed making videos too, I was working a lot, I'm still working a lot, but I miss making videos so much that I might as well just start making them so we're in July already and I uh, there's nothing really new going on with me I went to a wedding this Saturday with, which was really fun and exciting and I've been pretty much working one thing that caught my attention uh, here in Brazil in my country is that uh, since the beginning of the year, we have been experience, experiencing a chaos in our airports. Um, mainly because of the um, airplane controllers, of the con control tower. And um, they were on strike, or they were not in the mood for working, and the story develops that in such a way that none of the authorities really uh, assumed the guilt or wants to fix the situation. So what pisses me off is that um, I'm, I'm not really planning on going on a trip this month or anything, but I see all these people standing in airports for 10, 12, 20 hours and not, not, no explanation has been given them. And you guys know me, uh, you know that I love my country, you know that I've been, you know, I, I really like my country. But it is in times like these and in situations like these that I really hate it here. I hate how Brazilians, especially authorities, Brazilian authorities, wait for something really bad to happen to act. For now, we just had delays and cancelled flights, but they have to wait for some tragedy to, to happen for them to take a serious um, position on this. So this really caught my attention the last days that uh, here now in July is um, a period of vacation for schools and everybody goes away with their family abroad or inside Brazil, it doesn't matter. All the flights are delayed or cancelled or everybody has lost their connections and abroad and that really makes me wonder how long how long until uh, Brazilian authorities has have to to wait until they take some position on this and kind of um, in the same area there in the politic area uh, our president did a speech a few days ago that said that all the Brazilians that travel abroad um, don't speak well of their country. All Brazilians that are abroad in Europe or America or wherever, they speak badly of Brazil. He said you don't see a guy from Switzerland uh, speaking bad things of his country or you don't see a guy from United Kingdom speaking um, bad things about their country that is because Brazil sucks and that is why I in spite of loving my country I will complain until things get better.
because because that is what a democracy is all about when when something is wrong you have to speak up and speak out because they think they can steal us blind with their corrupt ways and still get away with it and this has become a really serious vlog but I am just so out of myself I'm just so out of it because I, I cannot believe the president, president himself cannot admit there is a serious problem with Brazil there are many serious problems with my country and he says a Brazilian shouldn't speak bad of Brazil or shouldn't speak of Brazil's problems abroad of course we should of course we should I I just I cannot believe my president said that a Brazilian shouldn't speak of Brazil's problems what does he think we are? Animals that should take some survival uh, crumb and say thank you? I don't think so. I want a better country for me and for eventually my children and for everybody who's out there who doesn't have a job or lives in poverty. I'm fine, I pay my taxes and they steal it. They just steal my money. There are people out there who need mo food and, m and money and jobs and clothes and houses. And they, they don't have that. So I'm using YouTube right now to say that Brazil right now sucks. And whoever is uh, planning on coming here on a trip, don't come. Do not come to Brazil. Uh, in Rio de Janeiro there's a war going on because of drugs and in Sao Paulo the violence rate is so high I am afraid to step out of the of the streets so don't come here stay in your country if you feel safe because you won't feel safer here I don't care if I am criticized, oh, you know, I like Brazil. I like Brazil so much that I am, I am angry. I am angry that nobody does anything. So that's what I'm doing. I'm telling you who is watching me, who maybe is in a, another country, don't come here. It sucks. Everything is very expensive. You will probably get mugged. And the tourism experience, experience you have here, you can have anywhere else. Well, may, well maybe some experiences you don't, have to, you don't have anywhere else, but it's not worth it. You just get stressed and maybe, and that is a big possibility, when you fly, fly home, when you try to fly home, you will have to wait for 30 to 40 hours in the airport to get home. So think twice before coming over here. You may never get out. That's all I have to say. So forgive me if this was so ang angry. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> so yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye.